Good morning, welcome to Harbor Highlights. On today's show, we have an interview with Mr. Ashnock about class behavior and with Mr. Bumstead about Junior Sauer. We also have an important announcement about the box up store. This and more, so stay tuned. Good morning, Harbor Lights. I'm Andrew. And I'm Eli. To start our show today, please stand and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Last week we talked about another pledge we take when we sign the social contract. This is a promise that every day we will try our best to treat others in the way the class discussed on the contract. Now, as we are a quarter of the way through the year, it is a good time to reflect on how we are doing and what we can continue to do to improve. Some students met with Mr. Ashnock to talk about student behavior. Imagine you're a visitor in our school, walking through the halls or visiting a classroom. What behavior would you feel that is this that this school is an amazing place? Let's go talk to Mr. Ashnock about student behavior. How do you show respect, responsibility, and quality effort in a classroom? Uh, I think the number one way you can do that is just by giving quality effort each and every day and being engaged in every lesson that the teacher has for that particular day. If you were to walk in a classroom, what would you expect? I would expect uh, for students uh, to be engaged in the lesson, to possibly be working with each other, listening to the teacher, and uh, following all the school rules. There's a visitor. How would you like us to act? If we have a visitor coming into the school, certainly we'd like the students just to act um, very respectful to that individual and just treat them the way that you would like to be treated. Thanks, Mr. Ashnack. Remember, be respectful and treat others the way you want to be treated. Let's make our lives a great place. Boy! The best lesson is to treat others the way you would like to be treated. As improvements are made to our school, our campus, and new technology, we want to let our community know that we are proud of our school and are going to do our best to show the Panther pride. What can you do to help be a leader and influence those around you to do the right thing? Now over to this week's general announcements. Hi, I'm Marcus. And I'm Devin. Lunch specials this week are Monday meatball and marinara subs. Tuesday is chicken and cheese enchiladas. And Wednesday breaded chicken drumstick <coughs> with mashed potatoes. Thursday is Chinese egg roll and fried rice. And Friday is yummy creamy alfredo pasta with chicken and a garlic twisted breadstick. It's time to announce the annual Harbor Lights Spelling Bee. It will take place Wednesday, December 15th. Spelling study list and permission slips are now available in the library. There are vocabulary rounds included in the B, so be sure to also study the definitions of the word. There are prizes for the winners. First place winner receives $25 and second place receives $15. The top two spellers represent Harbor Lights at the Regional B on the ev evening of February 16th. This is the week to pick up your Chromebooks. Stop by Harbor Lights now, November 16th and 17th. Sixth and seventh graders must be using the provided case to carry the Chromebook, and eighth graders will use them as soon as they arrive. Have it charged up and ready to use in school this Friday. You must have your ID to pick up the Chromebook and all the other required forms completed. Do you ever ha have a test and you just don't know how to study? This week's tech tip is to tell you about a great site called Quizlet. Many students and teachers use it already, but it is a great resource to study for an upcoming quiz or test. You can practice with flashcards or take a test or even play fun games. You can search by topic and find one already made. So the next time you have a test, try Quizlet. The Box Top Store is open this Wednesday at lunch. There are many items for sale and funds go to help our school. Here is an interview with Miss Graham who is helping to coordinate the Box Top Store this year. And in case you haven't heard, the Box Top Store has function tickets you can buy too. Here's what else you can buy. Hi, we are going to interview Miss Graham about the Box Top Store. What is the Box Top Store? The Box Top Store is a store where um, you can actually buy things by just using Box Top. So it's a lot of cool little trinket items and it's all not using money. What are some things you can purchase at the Box Top Store? Um, you can purchase t-shirts, you can purchase silly string, we have um, erasers and pencils and all kinds of woe gear and um, little trinket items and magic games. It's all kinds of really fun stuff. How much money have we raised in the past using the Box Top Store? 
the box top store has really really helped our school um, the past years we've raised about seventeen thousand five hundred dollars um, we also like each year average about two thousand six hundred dollars it's just a wonderful wonderful thing to go and help support our, our our school and besides that you get really really cool stuff when is the box top store open and where is it located the box top store is open every other Wednesday, um, so actually this coming Wednesday is going to be open, and um, they also is located right in the cafeteria near the sixth grade hall. What are ways you can collect box tops? So box tops are found on tons and tons of items. Um, a lot of food items, you look at the top and you'll it'll either have like a little box top, sometimes they're really big. Um, sometimes you can get like coupons for, you know, 10 times the amount or five times the amount, um, depending on what you buy. But a lot of the food products, if you just look, you can find box tops. Thank you, Ms. Graham, for letting us interview you. What a great way to get needed school supplies and support our school. I ask friends and family to save the box tops for you to turn in if they do not have West Ottawa students. Now over to the sports for this week's game. Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm Michael. We'll start with boys basketball. The black team has their first home game at Mac Bay against Muskegon. Thursday is away at Reese Buffer. The white team is also away Tuesday against Holland and home Thursday against Hamilton at the Harbor Lights Gym. Girls Swim and Dive have a meet tomorrow at home at the South High School Pool and on Thursday away at Hamilton. Did you know that students that participate in extracurricular activities, including sports, do better academically in school? In fact, some might call them geniuses. Speaking of genius, the 8th graders are doing s starting something new this year called Genius Hour. And here's Mr. Bumstead and students to explain exactly what it is. Wow, that's amazing. And what is your genius hour? The extinction of Tasmanian tigers. My project for genius hour is thinking of how the mind works. My genius hour project is flipping water bottles. What is genius hour? Uh, well, genius hour will be an opportunity for students uh, to work on a project of their choosing uh, and, and still get a chance to practice uh, science skills. How do you feel being the first one at to do genius hour? Well, it's just a great opportunity for our students, and uh, and all the teachers and staff members um, are always working hard to introduce new things. So it was just our turn. How do you feel about Genius Hour? Uh, so far, so good. I mean, this is new for everybody, so the students are still trying to figure out uh, what projects they want to do. Um, you know, so it's new for everybody, uh, and it's in its beginning. Uh, we just want to have accountability and make sure they're practicing their science skills, uh, but so far, so good. What are some examples of GSR projects? Uh, this year, we have some really great projects. We have students uh, that want to write a short story. We have students that uh, are um, uh, building a computer on their own, students that are working on testing different rocket uh, uh, designs. And uh, all the time, uh, they're including research uh, and presentation skills, um, you know, with these different projects. Wow, that's amazing. Don't forget, students, that this month's tardy competition is with your third hour class. Congratulations to all the honor roll students from first marking period. We appreciate your efforts and certificates. We'll be here soon. Thanks so much for watching our show. Check us out on SchoolTube or like our Facebook page, Harbor Highlights, for this link to our show. Have a great week. Bye! Bye.